Hi YouTube, Timothy Unker here. In this video, we're going to install Kali Linux on Windows. So the first thing we need to do is go down here to our start here, and we're going to search for Microsoft Store, and we're going to open that. And what we want to search for is Linux, okay? And we're going to first install the Windows subsystem for Linux. So I'm going to go here and click Install. And after prompting me to make changes to my computer, um, it's going to go ahead and download and install that. Okay. Once that's gone and download, downloaded, um, what we actually need to do is now restart the computer. So I'm going to pause the video right now and restart my computer. Okay, once I've restarted my computer, I'm going to open up the Microsoft Store again and search for Kali. And I see here Kali Linux. So I'm going to now install. Okay, once it installs, we'll have this button to open. You can also search for Kali down here. I'm going to click open. And a terminal is going to pop up, and it's going to take a few more minutes to install everything. Okay, once it does that, we need to enter a username. So I'm going to just do tunkert, and then we're going to have a password. So I'm going to enter the password and then enter the password again. Okay, uh, so the installation was successful. Now, once I've installed everything, what I do want to do is do a sudo apt update and a sudo apt upgrade with the dash y. Um, Kali is Debian based, so if you use Debian or Ubuntu, you'll recognize this. I'm going to enter in my password. Okay. There we go. This is going to take a few moments to update. And then after it does that, then we'll install a few more things so we can have the Kali desktop and we can uh, have all the tools. I'll come on back once we're ready to do that. All right, once we've done with the update, we can clear this out. Um, and then what we can do, if we wanted to open up the desktop version of Kali, we do kex space dash dash win space dash s. Now, when we hit this, it's going to say that the command kex not found, but can be installed with sudo apt install kali win kex. So I'm going to do a sudo apt install kali win kex. Hit enter. It's going to ask me for my password again. I'll do my password. And then <clears throat> there we go. It's going to ask for the additional space. I'm going to say yes. Hit enter. Enter. And this is going to take a few minutes, so it'll probably take 10 minutes or so. So I'm going to come on back once that's done. Okay. Once that's gone ahead and installed everything, we can first clear this. And then we can type in kex dash dash win dash s, hit enter. And we're going to be asked for a, a password. And they may ask, um, this is uh, Microsoft, the, the firewall asking me, do I want to allow? I'm going to say yes. And we're going to ask for a password here. So I'm going to just give it a password. And I'm going to verify that. Um, I'm going to say no to the view only password. Okay. And that's going to take a moment or two to uh, start everything up. And here we go. We've got Kali Linux running here. And um, let me give you this. I'm just going to close that out. And we can go ahead and we can run terminal emulator from Kali. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can run terminal here. Uh, so if I want to go into Vim, do whatever, um, I can run it from here. I can also go on the internet here. And I can go to YouTube and check YouTube out. Okay. Also, I have access to a lot of tools here. So we have um, some usual applications and information ga gathering, sniffing and smoothing, post-exploitation, post reporting tools, social engineering tools, and um, some other tools here that are available in Kali. Okay, We have a text editor here. If I click on that. It's mouse pad. We can edit stuff. 
And so we have this Kali desktop. To get out of this, I'll just do F8. And then I can exit the full screen here. And I can go here and log out if I want to. So I can log out, close that out. And to get back to Windows, I'll just exit out of here. And I'm back to my Windows operating system. So you can run Kali on Windows uh, just as easy as that. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please uh, like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.